It's already halfway through the year and we're starting from scratch. By completing SBCs, playing matches and competing in foot champs, we're going to build the best ultimate team that we can in the time available. Welcome to my FIFA 17 Halftime Road to Glory. That's right guys, welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Episode number 5 coming at you right now and this is the team that we're going to be rocking into foot champs. Um, with and we just played the 40 games, but that's the main question for this episode What do we actually finish on and you guys will be finding out this episode? But not just right now as we are going to be completing some marquee matchups right here um, I think this one was a bit expensive for us as you can see we're pa paying quite a bit for these cards, but it was required and The payback for us is just gonna be so much better for our club like we're just gonna get so many more players so it's definitely worth the risk this one gives us a 25k pack and in the 25k pack who are we gonna get we're getting a big flare and it actually gives us a huge chunk of our coins back and we get how it is who's gonna sell for about 3.9 thousand coins so that takes us down from the 28 to 22 and then back up to 25 so the important thing is to remember guys that we spent 20 we started at 28,000 coins when we started these SBCs and here you can see all these players were pack pulled from the bronze pack method and we get a gold pack from it and in the gold pack we're gonna get a rare card actually and it's gonna be Ian Nacho so that's a pretty tasty little card that's gonna be useful for our uh, gameplay and it was actually a pretty good super sub in um in the road to glory because um one of a uh, one game Mane was injured for quite a bit so I had to sub on e I had to bring on Ian Nacho as a starting player and he was actually doing pretty well and here we're going to spend about 3000 coins completing this SBC a lot of these players are first owner but a few of them I did have to buy especially from the clubs that were required so as you can see that I'm spending a tiny bit of money on this SBC but we're gonna get two rare players from it and in the two rare player pack we're gonna get our main man from Leicester City Slimani he's he's gonna be useful for these SBCs and we're just gonna build up a whole bunch more players and coins for the club so that's always good and as you can see that that how it is did sell and in the final one for the marquee matchups we're gonna just as you can see this is gonna cost us quite a bit of coins but that's all right that's okay because as the end result we're gonna get a rare mega pack from this and this gives us one jumbo premium gold pack that is a 15k pack plus 500 coins plus an additional um, 1,000 coins plus a rare mega pack and in the jumbo pre premium rare pack. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's a tongue twister. We get 83 rated Vitolo, so that's pretty good. He's going to be useful for an SBC someday and we also get some other things in there, but we're going to send all of it to the club and move on swiftly to the next pack, guys. And in the rare mega pack, who are we going to get? No walkout, no big flare, unfortunately, but we do get the main man, De Fridge, De Free, and um, another Calcio A player. He's not going to be really played that much because he's only got about 60-something pace, but we get a lot of rare players here, and this is what I'm talking about. This is what we want to just fill out the club. We get a whole bunch of rare consumables. All that contracts is going to be used straight in this weekend league, and a whole bunch of fitnesses and stuff like that. So, um... Very, very tasty. I was checking the price of the squad fitness trainings, but they're not selling. And yeah, we're just we're just going to store all of this to the club because it's going to be extremely useful. As you see, it can be sold for 8,000 coins, which would bring us up to the 28,000 coin mark. But we're going to keep it all in the club. And the first game we're going to come into is the first of the last five games. And we come up against this team, and I was like, oh my gosh, that 97 Ronaldo, everyone else, it's going to be a ridiculous team. But um, we're actually going to score the first goal against this guy. And uh, Martial is going to pass it to Mane. Mane is going to slot it past his keeper, David De Gea, to make it 1-0. And um, we're cruising against this dude for some weird reason. I don't know how. He might probably wasn't a very good player and just spent a lot of money on the game. But Moose is going to send through Mane. And Mane is going to get slide tackle down in the box. Gives away a penalty. And that's actually going to see... Our opponent rage quitting out of this one. I would never expect from this sort of opponent. 
And we're going to come up into the second game. So that's the first win of the five. And I got to say, this dude, he was incredibly good. Like, he was so good. He was so hard to break down. And he messaged me after the game and he was like, dude, you definitely should have got more than just the one goal, which as you can see right there, Mohamed Salah. But we are going to lose this one 3-1, unfortunately. And great header there from Lacazette. But he messaged me after the game and he said, dude, you definitely should have got more than um, just the one goal. And I just I just like people who aren't, you know, such total dickheads, pretty much, in the foot champs. Like, there are just some nice guys out there who just play well and... They, they kind of like, they play their best, they definitely play their best, but obviously you can see when you're just having the same amount of shots and my shots aren't going in compared to his ones, but he plays his thing well here, and right there I brought out Manalas, and that just lets Hurricane open up with so much base to make it 3-1, that's entirely my defensive problem. And as you can see, the stats are pretty level at the end of the match, but I just could not take my chances. And that's going to be the difference between him and me. And that's what you get with those upper echelon sort of players. Those upper tier players, you're going to get a lot better finishing and stuff like that. Coming up into the next match, we have a very nice team. That 87 Carrasco is a deadly card. Also, same with that Casemiro. But we're going to start off this match with Musa threading it through to Deli Alley, And Deli Alley is going to pass it back in to Mane, and Mane is going to tap that into the back of the net, and that's actually going to be the end of the match, it's going to end up 1-0, and again, we didn't, we didn't deserve to win this match, maybe last match we could have probably deserved more than this match, but this match, this dude definitely deserved to win, look at the shots, look at the possession, he completely outplayed me, but we just got a lucky tap in to win the match, and that's what FIFA is for, you just, you just got to try and win the matches. Um, coming up to the next match, Aguero, Dybala, that in-form um, I think it's Papu Gomez, and we're going to start off this game with Insigne, and he's going to tap that one into the back of the net to make it 1-0, um, dancing on him a little bit, and just getting his way around the defenders, that's what we like to see, I don't know what Niang was doing there, but he somehow gets a ball to Insigne, and he makes that 2-0, and yeah, a very, very nice start to the match in the 33rd minute, and then he's going to bring the ball down the pitch. A little nice little chip ball over to Aguero. And Aguero is going to put that into the back of the net to make it 2-1. And at this point, I'm kind of scared because his team has a lot more stamina than mine. But that's how the game is going to stay. And once again, probably didn't deserve to win the match. We were very, very clinical this match. Um... Scoring out two out of three shots on target, but that is that is what you need to be doing if you have a lower tier team in the foot champions and Coming up into the final of the five games in the foot champions. We got Gareth Bale Griezmann um, And this dude was just on another level like we we do go ahead first But I'm just gonna say right now we are gonna get absolutely demolished and I gotta say guys out of all the games to play, this was like one of like three games where I got absolutely demol demolished and the rest of the games that I lost were actually very, very close games. So I'm thinking if we can improve our team just a little bit here and there, we should be able to come up with a very, very nice um, sort of win ratio in the foot champs. So that would be amazing if we can try and push to that elite standard, hopefully get those elite monthly rewards. That's what we're looking for, those 12 red informs that's definitely what we're looking for as Griezmann punishes us as he finds a bit of open space and once again Griezmann's going to get his hat trick and just slot that into the left side of the goal it's a great finish from Griezmann um, but we are going to get one back and Mane is going to tap that one home but that is going to be the end of the game 4-2 but where do we finish on the foot champs guys and as you can see that dude, dude did pretty much dominate me the entirety of the game but guys i am gonna say that this is gonna be one of the best weekends i've ever played in with this sort of team as we're gonna finish in gold one that is right we're getting two 100k packs fifty thousand coins and on top of that we're gonna get the 125k pack from the foot birthday sbcs so we have a total of 78 rare players coming to our club in the next week i am extremely excited and next week's foot champions, we ain't going to be playing with no scrub team. Um, but we're going to pick up some signings here. And I actually did buy one smalling, but then I saw another one with the anchor card. So I was just like, nope, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to sell on the other one. And we we managed to get one with the anchor card for about probably about 7.4, 8.4K. So that's all right. I don't mind 
taken a bit of a loss on Smalling there. Um, we're also going to pick up Alexandro for the left back position. As I said, but favorite left back for me in the entirety of the game. He's just such a well-rounded player, so he's going to go straight into the team. We're also going to pick up our first big money signing of the episode, and there's going to be Raja Nangalan. Yes, 38k, but he is worth every penny. And then our main man, Pjanic. And I picked up Pjanic because I needed a free kick option in our Calcio A team. I think the best free kick taker was Bonaventure, and he has like 68 free kick accuracy. And I sell on Allen because I actually make a bit of profit on him, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, I just really needed that um, free kick taker in the team. So that's what we're going to do. And this is what the two teams are looking like. The first team, we just implemented that smalling and we're going to look to develop this team definitely over time and this is the second team and oh my gosh it is looking delicious now we're just we're really just lacking in the striker and the goalkeeper i'd probably want to get handanovic or buffon and Daibala is the other one we want to try and get and we're just going to go into some division five games now just going to cruise through division five here's one win and we actually get a disconnect loss <laughs> um and you guys are going to see another one i wasn't recording this one but i was recording another one because um because i was only going to show you the last two games and one of the disconnects happened to be one of the last two games. So we get another win there, another 4 0 win, absolute domination of shots and shots on target. And this is going to be the game where we disconnect. And this happened in the first one as well. I just couldn't show you because it wasn't recording at the time. But as you see here, Insignia is dancing on the win. We're 2 1 up. And we're just going to lose connection to the EA servers. So um, that's a tiny bit disappointing. But yeah, so we're just going to take another L on our record. But what I am going to do now is I'm going to leave you with a little montage of the last two games as it was pretty high scoring games. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. That, guys, is going to be two very easy games. It's going to give us the Division 6 title, as you can see, complete domination. And that's going to give us 6,000 coins, boosting us up to a cheeky little 17,000 coins and giving us into Division 5, which was actually one of our goals from the start of the series. So that's going to check off all three of our object objectives. And these, this is the team that I'm rocking with for the Serie A, and it's absolutely beast. I love Pjanic, Nanglin, and Bonaventura in the midfield. And Salah and Insigne are doing work up front. We probably want to 
um, change out Niang, as I said before, and um, Alexandra's doing amazing stuff at left back, I love him in the game, so always happy to get him for a cheeky little 8,000 coins, so that was always awesome, but these are the current objectives, and all three of these were completed in today's episode, so we're going to have to step it up a bit, we're going to try and buy Inform, Di um, Inform Reed and Dybala, and we're going to try and promote to Division 3, um, as the two main objectives, also for the foot champs objective, we're going to try and get gold three auto qualified for next week's um, weekend league. We don't have to do, uh, we don't have to requalify this week, so that's amazing. But this is going to be the team that we are going to have at the end of this episode. Next episode, guys, we're going to have 50k packs, we're going to have 50, 100k packs, 50,000 coins, and 125k packs. So that's going to be all good. And yeah, so I'm very, very excited to see what this series has in store. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode.